Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I am going to be doing butterfly locks. I've already like braided my hair but what I did was a twig so I started off with a braid which I did. Okay let's just get this clear. Your girl did not okay. I did not want to braid all the way to the end. I don't want to take that out. That just sounds full time consuming if you ask me. So this is what I did. I just did a braid, probably like literally like four passes, girl. I don't even know what to tell you, but I did the braid to about here. Then I just twisted the rest. And I wanted to do that because I wanted it to be kind of juicy too. And you guys, I also did this on wet hair because I wanted my hair to kind of draw up a little bit because y'all my hair long and I really want these to be bobs, but I don't think they're gonna be bobs. We'll see. I'm going to try, but I have a little method that I want to try out, but I just don't know how this is going to work out. My hair doesn't look that long like when it's in these twists. Y'all probably like, yes, it do. But no, it doesn't. Okay, it looked like it'll come out being like a bob. But then you start pulling them out, friend. Because when you start wrapping, it starts to make twists or the braid or so a little bit tighter. And then it's going to elongate it a little bit more because I've tried like two. And I was like, dang, these are just so long. Let me tell you guys the hair that I'm going to be using. This video is sponsored by Harlem125. This is the packaging of the hair that I will be using. I know y'all probably looking at that lady and y'all probably like, uh-uh, this ain't it, Kim. This ain't it, friend. But let me show you, friend. Let me show you. I have 10 packs and I am in the shade T1B slash 27. This is 20 inch hair, so just in case I did want it long, I do have enough hair for that. When you open the box and you take it out, this is what they're gonna look like. Just little springs, just like this. And you guys can see the transition between the 1B and the 27. So this is what they look like, and then what you wanna do is just separate this part, just like this. And that's how you get it, guys. You see that? You're gonna need two of these per braid, twig. You got me. And then you wanna go ahead and just kind of fluff these out. So just kind of separate these as well. All right, y'all. So this is what the hair should look like. And then you wanna go ahead and take a crochet needle. All right, you guys. So I know, like the last clip. I didn't do anything to my hair and now my hair is done. I know, but I did save two <laughs> for you, friend. <laughs> but y'all, let me tell y'all a background story though, cause yeah, I did my entire, almost my entire head already. I had completely put, installed all of these and I realized that I did not like it. Like I, I was like halfway done yesterday and I got tired so I went to sleep and yo, they were so stiff like they were just super stiff and my method was just trash so I had to redo my method on what I wanted and how I wanted these to be some of them are layered only once and some of them are layered twice this one is layered twice this is one that's only layered once it just creates a lot of texture when you kind of do it twice it's preference I may do a few more big ones I don't know yet but I just wanted to let y'all know some of them are with three pieces of hair and some of them with two pieces of hair. But let me show y'all exactly how I did this. So, let's get a little closer. I'm going to take my crochet needle. want it to be closed first. And I'm going to just take this through. Just like that. Take your hair. I like to twist it a little bit. It just makes it easier for me. So just twist it to about like that. Hook it. Close the latch. Pull it through. Hold one side. Y'all can tell which side, you know, that they are still two separate sides. So I'm just going to take the crochet needle off. Feed this through. Just like that. So now we here. We her, okay? And this is 20 inch hair. And I realized I have very long hair. So what I started doing was making sure I measured my hair to the additional hair that I have over here. The length. Because I'm going to need as much of this length 
as possible. And then I just start to twist. Now I twist like three times at the top like that and then I just start to go down and I try to keep my thumb in there just to create some kind of texture but with doing that like you know sometimes you gotta pick the hair up and create that look you know what I'm saying it ain't just about just putting your thumb there you kind of just gotta pick the hair up and make it a little slappy but you just want to wrap this all the way around Sometimes if you kind of don't need a curl, you can leave a curl out if you want to. I really wanted a messy one, so like I've been wrapping it twice anyway, so I don't really care about that. As you're wrapping, you kind of just want to stop it where you see the rest of the hair is stopping it. So we're almost there actually. And I like to do it a little bit tighter at the end. Now. As y'all can see, my hair is longer than the actual length that I want them. With that being said, all that I do for this hair piece is I just take this and pull it up. Then I take the crochet hair and then I start to wrap in the exact same direction. So you want to still take the hair in the same direction you was wrapping initially. And then you just want to try to hide the rest of your hair in that. So... That's how I'm doing, y'all. I hope I explained that pretty well, y'all, because that was kind of hard to explain once I started. But I want y'all to understand. And that, my friend, is one of my locks. Crochet needle in. Hook it through. Close the latch. Pull it all the way. Well, not all the way. Pull it enough just to pull the, the other side of the hair. And this hair makes it easy to like pull through because I've used some other hair and it's a little too silky. This texture of this hair, it's like my texture. It like gives you the real lock texture. So I'm feeling it. I'm going to make sure that I have enough hair on this side that I have of my own hair. Just check that length out. And then I'm just going to wrap. hair if you have some of your hair then just tuck your hair and proceed to loop it around so I want to show y'all what I'm talking about so I have been twisting this way going whatever way that is to you <laughs> I, I was going this way like I was wrapping it this way so when I come around I need this to still be wrapping in this direction so I just keep my finger at the end and then I just loop it so that I can continue going this way okay you just have to remember which way you're going honestly to know which way you need to continue and then you could just wrap up y'all see that yeah y'all can see that I hope y'all can see that and then once you get to the end I just take that off and then I roll my hands in the same direction that I was wrapping the hair and that's how you just tighten that bad boy up like that all right y'all so this is how it's looking so far like I said you can double like wrap them so I'm just gonna show y'all how I do it what I do is you know go ahead and separate your hair like you normally do just create texture is what you're doing you just want to create some texture and then I take both of the ends and I put them together because I want it to be nice and thick and then what I do is I just wrap it on up so I'll take the end start at the bottom and just wrap the hair and if you do it really loosely it'll look super chunky but if you do it super tight of course it's gonna start looking smaller so I kind of do like to do it a little loosely
And then once you have it kind of like a mess, then you can just roll it. And voila. A big old juicy one, girl. You seen that? That's, that was juicy. But anyway, this is it, y'all. This is it. Let me show y'all the back. Giving y'all a 360, a real 360, because I have to put a lot of power in it to do a real 360, girl. I gotta be like, ooh. Then y'all ain't gonna see it. So anyway, this is my hair friend. I like it. It's so cute. So I'm about to go on vacation. You guys should be seeing my pre-vacation vlog this Friday, but you'll see the struggle, okay? The struggle that I had with the first time that I did these bad boys, because <clears throat> It wasn't cutting it for me, but this right here is super cute. I love the color of this hair. I just absolutely love it. Now, 20 pieces come per box. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to go put a few little jewelry pieces on. As y'all can see, I got some shells on. A little shell. What else I got? Got some of these long. I got a little rope on. You know, just get creative with it. But I have 40 locks total, which is a total of six packs of hair. You'll have enough to actually do the lock and do another wrap if you wanted to. Now, like I said, I did not double wrap all of these, just some of them. Y'all, I really like this look. And like I said, I really like the hair that I used. I am vacation ready. These look like they are going to stay. And they are so, so easy to take out. All I have to do is go to the root. Find the hair that's that and then just twist it in the opposite direction that you twisted it originally and it's going to loosen up and then you take scissors cut that off and you can literally pull all the hair off like just pull it right on out and I really do like this carefree hairstyle and I just love that I can do it myself however I wish I could tell you guys how many hours this took since I did it twice I don't really know doing the tweed out was perfect like I did not put any heat to my hair. I really took a tweed out video. I put products in just as I would a actual tweed out. So honestly, when I take this out, I may be able to rock my tweed out. Who knows? This is the first protector style that I didn't have to blow out my hair. So I think it's a winner. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming this for you, showing you guys how to do this. And but honestly, I appreciate learning how to do this because if it went for y'all, I wouldn't even try to learn. I am loving this. I hope you guys try it. Let me know if you try it or if you have tried butterfly locks um, before in your life. I don't know. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.